It's a short film made and produced through the Goethe Institute's African Metropolis Project, which uh, premiered all its seven works in the recent uh, in the recent uh, different... Uh, okay, I'm going to have to ask what that means. I'm not sure. There's something on the autocue I'm not understanding. We have Berea's producer, Makano Mamabolo, to chat to us about this huge achievement. Well done. Thank you very That's much. Good to, yeah. good to have you in studio and congratulations. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm not too sure what, the, what, what we were saying there, but it's got nothing to do with you. But the main thing is you're going to Toronto and the film is going to be shown. I mean, this yes. is massive. I know. It is, um, it's almost like a dream come true. And some, you know, some dreams you don't even um, dare to dream. Um, they're just there as milestones that that are there for a film yeah. um, to achieve. And you hear, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to Toronto. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, let's talk about this film. I mean, yeah. I asked you a simple question. How long is it, and how long did it take you to put together? It's a 15-minute long film, and it has taken a year to that's, put together. That's incredible. I mean, we started writing it um, at last year's Durban International Film Festival. Yeah. Um, and the goal was to make sure that it is um, flighting. It is literally having its world premiere in Durban, and we managed to get it done. Mm. It was wonderful. The Goethe Institute has been awesome, as well as Hubert Bowles and the GT Bank. Everybody just rallying up together to make sure that we are finally showcasing African films on the African continent yeah. uh, instead of the other way around. You know, yeah, yeah. you want your notoriety to start from home, and so then everybody them. starts getting the buzz and. Before you know it, we're going to Toronto. Yeah, the, which is which is a, a great accolade. And how much of a great accolade is it? Because perhaps people don't understand how big this Toronto Film Festival actually is. Um, you get like uh, the major five film festivals across the world. You get um, Cannes, which I actually managed to go to earlier this year. Wonderful. Um, having a panel discussion with other filmmakers from across the world. Um, so that was a precursor to this. Um, so you get Toronto, you get Rotterdam, which will hopefully, I hope they're listening. Mm. Um, <laughs> Me too. Uh, That'd be nice. International <laughs> viewership in Rotterdam. You get the Berlin uh, Um and I forget the other, but, okay, but there this are is five right film festivals across the world that yeah. you want to make sure that you hit. Um, and this is one of them. This is, this one, is one of, of them. the major yeah. ones. Let's talk about the, the short film Berea. What's it all about and the inspiration behind it? Well, <coughs> the if I can call it the mandate for African Metropolis, was really just to tell a story about the metropolis of your country. We are telling the Johannesburg film, which is focusing on um, the rear of the suburb. Um, there are six other filmmakers who are writing who have produced films about their metropolis, like from Kenya, from Abidjan, from Cairo, from Nigeria. I'm forgetting some other countries, but yeah. we're doing the Johannesburg film. Okay. And we decided to tell the story about um, the last white tenant in a dilapidated building because it's just that forgotten story that we've all let go of, you know. Mm. I think, especially as South Africans, we are completely obsessed with um with race yeah. and we are so caught up in telling just the black story and i feel like in years to come we're going to be stuck with a very specific narrative that ignores a uh, different da demographic of our country yeah. so we decided you know my thing is tell the story that you want to watch instead mm. of waiting for it to finally happen. So we decided to tell the story of an old Jewish man who has chosen to stay in um, to stay in Berea and make it his home, but also explain why it is that he stayed there and, and, and get into his psyche about um, the environment that he's living in, yeah. um, what what the de degradation is about, what the squalor is about, and the people that he's having to interact with on a yeah. daily um, basis. That's a fantastic, um, it, it's a, that's a great angle, I have to say. I think that's a, it's a nice angle to look at and something very, very different. Just very quickly, how, how have audiences taken to it? I mean, you said you, you showed it in Durban. Mm -hmm. What was the initial response to it? It has been like love, love, love from right. the word go. Uh, we had three screenings in Durban and we had to make it into a fourth screening. Um, the first one was in a big cinema, um, which was full. The second one, there was standing room only. Actually, they had to like kick people out. And then we had another screening in the township, which was just... Um 
like word of mouth just spread um, yeah. beyond our expectations and as poor power productions for us to be able to showcase our work in south africa and have people like it for um telling nuanced very specific stories that speak about their truths yeah it, it's what we believe in as a company okay. um Great. and knowing that we hit the mark is is better than our expectations well done all the best. We wish you the best of luck going to Toronto to show this uh, great idea behind the film and then clearly a fantastic production as well. That was uh, Mahano Mamabolo, the producer of the uh, uh, Berea. It's a local short film which has been invited to be screened at the Toronto International Film Festival next week. Well done. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you very much. Let's take a break. We'll have the news at 7 after this. Stay tuned.